really is, and it's gone through rapid intensification, which means that you have winds increasing by 35 miles an hour or more in a 24-hour uh, period. So last night, it was a tropical storm. Early this morning, it turned into a Category 1 hurricane, and right now it is still just about uh, uh, 300 miles just off the coast of Corpus Christi right now. So right now, winds over 85 miles an hour, and we are expecting this to make landfall tomorrow night or early Saturday morning between Corpus Christi and the Houston area. And then it will stay uh, still pretty strong as it heads inland and continue to dump an intense amount of rain for several days. Some models have this going through Thursday that this could continue to bring rain to the Texas coastline area. So it's going to be very intense in this area again, making landfall really late Friday night or early Saturday morning. So we're looking at some of our rainfall uh, predictions here. Not often is it actually predicted that you get up to 20 inches of rain from a storm. And that's what we could get from Corpus Christi all the way through Houston. So the most dangerous, deadly part of a storm is the rainfall and the storm surge. It's not uh, any of the tornadoes that happen with it or anything like that or the winds. It's the storm surge. So storm surge is going to be really intense to go along with this intense amount of rain. So again, we're looking at an epic amount of rain in this area. Why we may not see any of the rain here in Colorado and why this won't move so quickly is because we have these two areas of high pressure in the country right now. So this will continue to make its way inland. One will move to the east and then this one will move over Colorado over the weekend and that will keep that system sort of pushed over the Texas area and won't allow that system to move up anymore to the north. So again, some of the models have this bringing us some rain in Texas through maybe even Thursday of next week. So a solid week of rain in that area. I want to show you the GO satellite radar of this storm because it's just beautiful to see that eye developing. You can see just how intense that is right there. So the storm is going to be pretty epic. We haven't had a major Category 3 or higher storm hit uh, the United States since Wilma in October of 2005. So it's been a long time. Taking a look back here in Colorado, we are looking at storms across the state for us. Most of them not severe. We have had one out of the eastern plains lightning across the board. We'll start by zooming out to this storm out in the eastern plains near the town of Elba. And you can see it's bringing a lot of hail right now. Some really heavy rainfall and it's uh, been dumping for a while. So this was a severe storm still going strong in that area right now. Also out near Sterling. Now here in Denver, we haven't had much activity for us. Just a lot of cloud cover, some wind. Most of the rain is on the north and east side or west side of town. And you can see we have rain all the way from Larimer County all the way down into El Paso and Teller and Fremont counties. Looking at our future cast, we are going to continue to see rain well into the evening hours, but it will clear by about 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow, high pressure starts to take back over a bit more, and we're going to see drier conditions, maybe still some isolated storms in the high country, maybe a pop or two out in the eastern plains. But here in Denver, we should stay on the dry and mostly sunny side, maybe a few clouds late in the day. Right now, it's 77 in Denver, 82 in Greeley, 82 out in Burlington, 68 right now in Boulder with some rain in the foothills, 73 in Avon, 89 in Grand Junction. Earlier today, 88. So about the same as yesterday. We hit 91 yesterday, 85 degrees uh, in the downtown area. So we're just pretty much just a little bit above average. Now tonight, 59 in Denver, 58 in Boulder. We're looking at 60 out in Burlington, 46 in Eagle and Aspen, 61 in Grand Junction. Tomorrow, uh, pretty much the same. We're in this nice uh, August weather pattern right now. 89 in Denver, 90 in Greeley, 91 out in Ray, 74 in Frisco, 77 in Eagle and Gunnison, and 93 in Grand Junction. Now for your five-day forecast, Saturday will be our hot day. We're up to about 92 degrees. There is a chance for some isolated thunderstorms. Sunday, very isolated as well, and we'll be on and off in that pattern through next week as well. But Saturday, Broncos game, CSU game, we've got a lot going on. Hopefully those storms do stay on the isolated side. Totally. That satellite imagery was awesome Amazing. to see. It's yeah. incredible. I just stared at it for a right. while this afternoon. It is. Yeah. 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 